Hey guys, Anthony here. It is Sunday, October 6, 2019. And the next series of videos that I'm going to do are going to focus on the get home bag, uh, what you should pack in it or what I have packed in it. And yeah, we'll open it up to questions and comments on the, um, on the YouTube videos that I post. But in today's video, I want to show the particular stove I'm carrying, why I'm carrying it, why I added this stove. It's a jet boil zip. Um, my thinking behind it and what I have in there now uh, also is a uh, Dave Canterbury uh, wide mouth water bottle canteen cup uh, nested together with a, uh, a stove that you could light a fire under, um, put an alcohol canister under, uh, a lid for the cup. And so that set coupled with the jet boil zip, if I'm on the run and I have to make it home and I can't use my vehicle, I'm on foot and I needed to stop, make a um, hot beverage, uh, boil water for some reason, for hydration, to cook a meal, whatever. Uh, the Jet Boil Zip, I feel, is a quick and easy and fast way to do it. So I'm going to show you that today, and um, we'll look at uh, how that works and how that's set up in this, in this setup here. So I'll turn the camera around, and I will focus it in down here so you guys can see hopefully I think you can see that and so I have a Maxpedition um, water bottle carrier here I'll put links to all this stuff in the description box so housed in this is my uh, some essentials a some extra fuel this is a large fuel canister for the goal zero excuse me for the um, jet boil set up and put that aside the wide mouth water bottle with water in it to begin with so I always have water in the bottle and I'll change it out like every six months or so I've got the nested cup and stove set up in this and then down here is the lid for the cup so I'm going to put that aside and that aside because right now we're just going to need the water that's contained in this bottle to fire up the jet boil zip which I keep here in the top of the bag okay this is the jet boil zip you see it I'll put the specs and everything in the description box it comes with its own little cup uh, the stove itself and what I what nice thing about the jet boil setup is you can nest a canister one of the small isobutane canisters uh, coupled with the stove upside down so your stove upside down in the cup your canister again you could probably get some more stuff in there if you wanted to um, that's what we have in here and that exposes your cup you've got your handle you got your flux ring here that's going to attach to the stove and screw the stove on the canister and with that comes the little stand here that'll protect it and keep it from tipping. And so if you were on the run and you needed to, um, make sure this is coming in, and you needed to boil up some water, what you would do is take your stand, take your stove, nest it together, now this, this uh, jet boil zip does not have a, its own ignition system, so you have to have something to light this with, like a lighter or a match or something that makes a spark. You make sure that's on good and, and tight. And your valve here will let your gas out. You can hear that. So when you're ready for that. And now we'll, we're going to boil up some water for a cup of coffee. Okay, so I'm going to fill that about halfway up, as you can see. A little more. And you just set your stove, your cup right on the stove, and you kind of twist it. It notches in. We'll do a, a more detailed video on this. So you have your, your sippy lid and your strainer. That's a part of that setup. We'll put our lid back on the Dave Canterbury set. And put this aside 
And I carry a lighter right on the side of the bag, an ExoTac lighter. And so all I have to do is uh, take that lighter off and light my stove. Lighter's protected. It's a big lighter, a large size big lighter. We'll turn our valve on. Just lift the stove. Put our lid on. And now we could boil up our water. So if we were uh, in a hurry and we didn't want to make a fire underneath here, which we can do, so it's another option. Using the jet boil zip in a couple of minutes, I can get boiling water. And with the small canister, uh, you'll probably get about an hour's worth of, I think it's an hour's worth, 40 minutes or an hour's worth of burn time. So just do the math. I mean, that's several, um, several times you could heat up water and boil, bring water to a boil. With this added uh, 220 gram fuel canister, you could last a lot longer out in the field uh, and provide more stove lights for you. If you had a, you used all your clean water and you had to get water from a stream or something, a lake, you could boil it up and make sure you have enough fuel to do it with this. So again, we'll check our jet boil zip. It's already bubbling, as you can see. And we'll use our Dave Canterbury cup. This is a 25 ounce cup for our coffee. And then we will get our beverage packet, which I have right at the top of the bag. Again, coffee in there, some instant soups, some oatmeal, some bars things of that nature, and a heavy duty Ziploc bag, and, oh, that's the wrong one, there should be another bag in there, put my coffee in it, it's in the zippered portion here, okay, my beverage bag, I'm sorry, is here, so one with some food items in it and one with just beverage items, tea, coffee. Water's almost boiling. Again. Just a coffee packet there from Starbucks. Water's boiling. Okay, just shut your knob. Nice thing about the jet boil is you got this neoprene cover here, so you could twist off your cup. Put my gloves on. glove on for this. Make sure you don't get burned. There you go. in the cup. You could drink out of here too. Coffee. There you go. So, today's video focusing on your stove setup, which is the Jet Boil Zip backup stove for a wood fire. I also carry a um, folding stove here, an Esbit stove, and I have about 10 packets of fuel for that. So several options for, uh, you've noticed the jet boil had a little bit of a sound to it, 
If you didn't want any sound, you could use the Esbit with the tablet, and you'll get a take you a little longer, but you'll get a silent burn. Won't make any noise when noise is not the issue. Uh, the Jetboil Zip is the way to go. Okay, thanks for joining me, guys. Let me know what uh, you're carrying in your get home bag, and uh, feel free to chime in and um, educate the YouTube community. I think this having a get home bag is a crucial part of prep prepping. Um, you don't want to skimp on what you put in this bag. You want to have good quality stuff. Again, you don't have to spend a lot of money, but you need uh, some good gear that it's going to hold up. Okay, and the Jet Boil is one of those that has been proven, uh, along with uh, the stainless steel bottles. Anything stainless steel, again, is going to hold up, and you got multi uses for this thing, um, and you're good to go. Thanks for joining me. Take care and stay ready. Anthony signing off.